and welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be testing the 1771 QB, which is the PLC 5 or PLC 2 if you really go back far enough. Linear positioning and hydraulic module. This is equivalent to the new 1756HYD02 that's in the other video. Again, I have the same rods that we're using in the HYD02 module test that we showed you earlier and we'll move the camera around and have a close look here. Um, we have the 8 inch rod and the 24 inch rod. We have a tested and known good QB module tied to our analog meters and we also have a module that the cust a customer has sent to us that we're going to be testing to show you what happens on one of the dead modules. So we'll just reposition and be right back. Okay, so first off is programming. Um, really simple actually. You go into channel configuration and your, pardon me, your IO configuration, you pick your chassis and this and generally in the PLC5 system your QB modules, analog modules, anything high speed was in rack zero. You open it up, and I've already got this configured, but the QB is here in this slot, and you can, when you uh, don't have anything in there, you can go into the add module, and in this case, we're going to just type in QB, hit OK, and then you double click on it and it says auto pick and it will automatically pick all of the uh, addresses from your existing data table and just put them in. So if we say done um, it's looking for variables that we don't have there so we just close that and all of this is done ahead of time. So we go into our setup screen and it's here and we go into edit configuration. This is where you put in your numbers off of your rods. The transducer calibration is also known as a gradient. In this case you take and multiply the gradient by four because it's four recirculations which on a 9.0923 gradient that gives us 36.0 36.3 microseconds. Zero position offset was figured out by moving the magnet around, putting it at zero, and doing the math. Download this to the mat to the uh, module, and you and away you go. When you're starting up fresh, you can hit insert ladder lungs, and it will automatically do all of the programming for you. So that's a good thing with the old PLC5. Um, Control logics is a lot more complicated, obviously. So we go up here, and of course, you can't see very well, but in these, in this screen, all I've done is brought out the position, and as you can see, as I move the magnet on axis 1, which is our 24 inch rod, the numbers change to match where it is. There is pretty close to 3 inches measured with a tape measure in there. Axis 2, same thing, move it around and the numbers change following the magnet. So again, as we did in the uh, previous video, here's our rods. And all we're doing, and if this was inside of a hydraulic cylinder, this magnet would move with the cylinder. So on our output, we're just going to move over to it. Okay, so here's our meter movements. The bottom one is tied to the 24 inch rod and channel through programming. And when I bring it to 
the zero position, it's zero. If I go past it, we get a positive voltage. If we go negative, we get negative voltage. Now, there's nothing magical about the programming. It just, all we're doing is showing that, yes, we have proper movement. Um, the input works, the output works. Again, with the top channel, back and forth. So we know all of the components of this module are good. So next what we're going to do is change and put in the customer's dead module. And there's a couple of things to keep in mind when you're working with this equipment. Now, we'll just move it over here. And you have plus minus 15, 24, and the 24 is not used, that's used for the discrete inputs, and your processor. So with the PLC5, you must turn off the power and you must kill the chassis in order to be able to safely take it in and out without damaging it. So we turn off our plus minus 15 volt, we turn off our chassis, and now we can safely remove the module. Put it down, and we take, in this case, my customer's module, and again, checking our switches at the back, everything's set up for voltage. Place it into the chassis. Wiring arm on. Plus minus 15 on. Then turn on the processor. It takes half a minute. And it comes back up. And in this case, the customer's module is completely dead. It won't even uh, won't even talk. So we know that our everything's set up correctly because we just finished testing one. So there you go. It, it's not that difficult, but you have to have everything set up and ready to go. Um, that's a stand, our standard way of testing QB modules for you. And uh, hopefully that was informative.